Crochet Kids, I'm Kelly Klein, and here is a glimpse into my ideal Saturday. After growing up near Seattle, Washington, I unfortunately didn't get to see the sun very much, so now that I'm living near the ocean, I love to spend every moment outside and at the beach. I am currently living in San Diego and going to school at Point Loma Nazarene University, so my ideal Saturday would be to wake up, grab my best friends, grab a quick breakfast, and head out to a hike at Torrey Pines. We would end our hike with a dip in the ocean and a stroll across the beach. After that, we would drive over to La Jolla to go kayaking and say hi to the sea lions and leopard sharks in the water. And we'd finish it off with burrito <laughs> Oh. Finally, we would end our night by having a bonfire on the beach and camping under the stars. My friends and I usually come up with some creative and crazy adventure to go on, some of which my favorites have included paintboards on the cliffs, dance parties across campus, and late night swims in the Pacific Ocean. While this is my ideal Saturday, I know that no matter where I'm at, that as long as I'm with my friends, that I'll have a great time. I'm kind of fun. I don't know. Hey, crochet kids! Welcome to my beautiful home in San Diego, California. We just spotted a rabbit. place that I have ever traveled to is Greece. This past summer, I packed my bags for a crazy adventure with my sister with a plan to travel to six countries in Europe for six weeks. This trip was unlike any I'd ever been on before. My hope for it was to seek adventure at all times, to see new places, experience different cultures, and since we didn't have our entire itinerary planned out, to really learn to be flexible and open to new things. I specifically loved Greece the most out of six countries that we traveled to. I really loved the crazy, loud, friendly, and family-centered culture, the breathtaking sunsets. I specifically remember one night in Santorini watching everyone light up against the walls, the restaurants, and all over the place just to watch the sunset. And I remember it being one of the most beautiful ones that I've ever seen in my life. I also really loved the white sandy beaches, the delicious food, and all the opportunities that Greece had for adventure. These are some of the pictures of all the fun things that we did on our trip. I started in London by having tea at Harrods and a picnic at Hyde Park. I hiked the Fleet Vita National Park in Croatia and went kayaking in Dubrovnik. I relaxed and ate my way through Budapest, went sailing in Santorini, ate tapas in Barcelona, and took in the sunsets in San Sebastian, Spain. We ended our trip by surfing the gorgeous blue waters of Portugal. My experiences in Europe have further pushed a desire to travel in my heart and taught me to take advantage of every opportunity to explore, to try new things, and to seek adventure at all costs. Who or what have I loved most and why? That would have to be my sister Kristen. My sister and I are best friends. She has always been my biggest support system in my life and has been there with me through my greatest triumphs and my deepest struggles and continues to love and support me in everything that I do. When we're together, we're, we've been known to be really crazy, adventurous, passionate, and full of life. 
We have traveled the ends of the world together and we also have a tradition that every year we will travel to at least one new country together. Our travels have brought us even closer since we've seen all sides to each other, but we continue to love, each, love one another more and more every day. The two of us are very alike and she has taught me more about life, my passions, and what it means to follow and serve God than I could have ever imagined. I can always count on my time with her to be really fun and full of laughter since my greatest times in life have been spent with her. Some of my favorite moments have included serving together in Kenya and discovering our deep passion to make a difference in the lives of poor people around the world, learning what it really means to be spontaneous by traveling through Europe together, building forts in our onesies at home, and playing pranks on our parents. And even though she may be living halfway across the world, we still continue to FaceTime each other every day and map out our next adventures together. So my sister is my best friend and I wouldn't have it any other way.